Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Jazlene and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So I've always wanted to do this and I always had this idea in my head and I've always liked the Chanel chain belt. If you've seen them before, you've probably seen some vintage ones floating around on the pre-love market. Uh, even now they're coming out with chain belts, but they're just an arm and a leg and they're beautiful. But Sometimes I just want the look of that belt, but don't necessarily want to spend the money and I don't want to have a whole bunch of logos competing with bags and such. Now, I've always wanted to order these straps to create a belt and I ended up ordering a strap, uh, I ended up ordering a strap for another uh, wristlet that I wanted to turn into a crossbody bag. But I'm telling you about these. These are, um, sort of like replacement straps that you can hook onto any bag. I got these on Amazon. You can also find them on Etsy. I actually did order some on Etsy as well. And these have like a really decent weight to them. They're uh, pretty long. I can't remember how long this particular one was, but I'll insert it in the description box. But I thought, you know what? Why don't I just get this and make a belt out of it? Just loop it around the waist Imagine, uh, right now I've just got like a long cardigan on, this is like a super, super long cardigan. But if you're wearing like a knit dress, if you're wearing like a shirt, uh, a longer shirt, you can definitely belt it with this. So it comes in a package like this. This is the second one. And I thought I'd just put two together and create a look, but you, you can actually just get away with using one. And the way that I've decided to use this is you can loop it around wherever you like. And these little clasps here, they actually go in, that you can clip it onto the links of the chain. So if I take this, hopefully you can see, I can get it to go into the link of the chain and it rests there. And I can take the other side and link it on the other side, I can alter it, you know, like let's say if I wanted it to be higher, I can make it a little tight. So let's just make it a little tight. I'm not wearing the most ideal outfit right now. I was just kind of lazy. I didn't want to dress up. I'm just wearing a t-shirt and leggings, but you know, um, I'll probably, you know, incorporate this chain belt look in some future videos if I do any sort of styling. Uh, and I am dressed up, but I just want to show you for example, because I just unboxed it. But anyway, like you can make it tight and then just take this Clip it to where you want to go. Maybe there. Okay, you can play around with it. You've got yourself a Chanel inspired chain belt. So actually, I just turned it up a notch. I have a beautiful blazer on. This is actually an amazing find. Believe it or not, this is a blazer that I got at Zara. Uh, and this is from last year. I got it on sale which was decent, but then it went on a further reduction, end of season, and I think it was like $20. And I was so mad that I couldn't get it at $20, but anyway, uh, beautiful. You can do any blazer, you can do a dress, but I just thought I'd, because the other one was kind of looking a little frumpy, I was wearing a white t-shirt, it wasn't working, but I would definitely belt the long cardigan with a black top underneath. Um, and then you can also do it with a blazer. So you can also, incorporate brooches as well. So yes, brooches look really nice on a blazer, but these are two brooches that I have. If you've seen my costume jewelry collection, you've probably seen this before, but these are in gold just to match the belt. And um, you can incorporate these into the belt. So I'm gonna do this one right now, just so that you can see it kind of matches this interwoven chain design. So again, I'm gonna take the chain strap and I'm just gonna belt it. So I'm gonna go up a little higher because I like my, um, to really divine the waist and make it be a little bit tight. So I'm just gonna take the little link, loop it through the link of the strap. There we go. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just kind of take it around. I'm gonna make it a little bit tighter this time. So I'm just gonna go here, maybe about there. So I've got it kind of hanging there, and then you take the brooch and you can loop it through. You can put it anywhere you like, actually. Let's say if I wanted to, I don't know, 
can put it through here. Let's just experiment. So I'm just gonna, yeah, get in through there. And put it through. So sort of, sort of like that, right? You can even put it in the middle as well. You can just kind of play around with it however you like, but you know, if you really wanted to just have fun with it, I'm gonna show you by incorporating the other strap as well. Let's just make it a little bit more chunky. Now, if you didn't really, if you really didn't want to use these little clips, now I'm keeping on the clips because I want to use this strap for other things, but if you really just wanted to order these to make a little chain strap, you could just undo this thing and just take it off all together. And then I introduced these little bag clips, uh, bag strap shortening clips in another video that I did. And really all it is is you can take this thing, it comes in like this, okay? And then you can open it up and then you can take this, you can join links together. So you put it through one and then you take it through another link as well, just like that. And then you close it, okay? So you can do that as well to close up the, the chain and it's really inexpensive. You can get a great look with that. So I'm gonna uh, put the other two together and we'll check out how it looks. So here you go guys, I basically took the two straps, I hooked them up in the back and I just put it around my waist and then I clipped it onto this side. You can wear the belt like this with no logos, it's not competing with any logos on your bags. So for instance, if you are carrying a plastic flap, and sometimes you know if you've got this and you got the brooch and you got it, sometimes it can be a little bit overkill. but. It's not really competing with the bag yet, it's picking up uh, motifs of the bag and recreating it in your look. So I think this looks really, really decent. So uh, I'm gonna hook on the brooch as well. If, say you weren't, maybe if you did want a little bit of a logo, you can do that as well. So let's take the brooch right here. So I'll show you this one. The other one will look nice too. So let's just take this one here and let's weave it through. Let's just kind of put it maybe here, just to maybe mask or disguise that little clip there. You can have it hanging. Okay, maybe I didn't do as neat of a job because I can't see myself in the mirror. I'm just doing this in the viewfinder of the camera, but amazing. So <laughs> I'm really, really happy with this hack. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have been thinking of this idea for many years and I finally bit the bullet by ordering the straps. They weren't too expensive. Put it together, elevate your look, give it a little bit of a Chanel inspired look. Um, you don't have to spend a ton of money on buying the belt. Yes, I would love to get a belt, but um, I don't wear, really wear a lot of belts except to cinch in blazers or cardigans or maybe skirts and dresses and on the daily I don't really do that so this is just something that I'm going to use you know once in a while just to dress up but yeah I really liked it and I hope that you enjoyed this video like this video if you thought it was useful give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already if I'd really love to have you guys here let me know your feedback or questions in the comment section down below and I will see you in my next video bye